this year. Ooh. Hi, how's it going everyone? So today we are playing Curate's Glorious Evolution Victor Curious Shell Folk deck. We are combining the best of Bando City's created card synergy alongside with Victor to really leverage on these created cards to increase the damage of Victor and also, you know, with all these created cards, right, we can really utilize Curious Shell Folk to create more of these created cards and then we can cast these cards for very cheap you know with our bando city mayor and i mean our curious shelf also reduces its cost by one there was a situation like a game where we had managed to create two citras and we won the game with two big citras man that was in absolutely insane so you know there's a lot of rng involved which makes it exciting but at the same time right even though this feels like a meme deck but it does pretty well it, if, if you look at two rates like performance with this it's about 50 percent and 50% is very good for a meme deck and I've been playing this in the lower ranks and he's doing rather well if you are climbing with this deck like maybe from iron to silver to gold you can definitely win games here and unfortunately even though this is a glorious evolution deck and we have three copies in it I, I wasn't able to draw it but the good part about this is that even without glorious evolution we are able to win games so you know, it makes me think whether Glorious Evolution is a necessary card inside this deck. Maybe 2 is enough because this might be a win more situation. A lot of the times, right, with all this Curious Shell Foam Victor and created card synergy, it's good enough for us to win the game. And Glorious Evolution might just be a win more situation. Yeah. So you have a lot of like created cards here, Octopus, you know, Trinket Trade, Conchology, Sloping Telescope that all create extra cards. Then you have Bando City Mayor that reduces the cost. Zix here, even though we don't play Landmark, but Zix is a very powerful 3 for 3 for. The stats itself is very strong. And its ability to deal 1 to the blocker and the enemy nexus is very valuable. And it also gets a reduction from Bando City Mayor and Alu Travelers. It's kind of like a good removal. We are able to discard it, uh, discard our, our opponent's strongest card, you know, because oftentimes the strongest cards are like the highest cost. So. If you see some of the gameplays, we managed to do pretty well. Like we managed to discard our opponent's Heimerdinger and and like some of the key cards. Like I think our opponent was playing Timo, Caitlyn, and we are able to discard the Corina. <laughs> so that was amazing. So overall, this deck is actually a very viable meme deck that performs pretty well. So if you are interested in this deck, you can find the deck code in the description below. And I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Oh, oh. <laughs> I, I, I didn't expect people would be playing this. I suppose we need 3 Poké 6 is a, a little bit too much, but I think it is sensible you know, against this, right? If he has 3 Green Great Duo, I mean, we, we have 3 6 to poke at the go. Sounds a bit wrong, but you know, makes sense, right? Mm, let's pass. No need to rush in with any kind of spells first. I'm quite surprised. Azir Irelia, no no card split for the first three rounds. For the first two rounds. Is this like a hybrid? Control Azir Irelia. Makes sense, right? I guess we block. Okay. You're all tied up. Yeah, it's a good one. The one damage definitely helps against a ZI radar decks, right? It's a choice between like 3 or 1. Hmm. And I think with Curious Shell Folk, we can start to throw this out, right? Can you do a double double poke? <laughs> my my fear is that you know he, she can just bounce her bounce him back you know. That's the concern here. Hand or terror might be good.
Eh, this is better here. So let's just try and get some cuts. Let's block. And then we go and prank. Take a look at these cards. Okay, so turn 5 he's gonna play that. Uh, okay, sure. Hey, wait. If that's the case, right? Oh shit, I probably should have just go with Pokey Stick, right? Because my fear was that he was gonna bounce this back. Yeah. I didn't spot that. I think that was a mistake of mine. If I cast this 3, this will go to 6. Nah, it's fine. So let's attack here. He's blocking. Does he have twin disciplines? Yeah. I kind of forgot about that for a moment. Oh, huh? Nani? What? What? No twin disciplines? I'm confused. There's no twin disciplines. What's going on? Weird. What is a good one to summon? Uh, this one is useless. Okay. I need to draw Glorious Evolution. I haven't drawn it a single time. It's kind of crazy, you know. I played for quite a while already with this deck and I haven't drawn a single Glorious Evolution. It's confusing. I don't get it. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. Wait, what did we discard? The desert by my side. Eh? Okay. Uh oh, all these are pretty bad, isn't it? Let's go with this then. Actually, I can just attack with everything, right? Yeah. Oop. Let's just poke that. I think I can poke this as well, right? No, but I don't have enough. Nice. Not bad, not bad. It's time, man. It's time for my glorious evolution. If I do a double poke, maybe this will help. Like, I'll, I draw to increase my chances, you know. It's kind of at a disadvantage now, so I think that's fine. I think I can take two. You see, the thing is about this is that he can twin disciplines here. And I still don't know whether he has twin disciplines or not. Like previously he doesn't have it. Okay, so this shows that he doesn't have it. But well, when is he getting it? That's the question. You know? I think we need to try and kill her because we are about to die. Like if this rolls out right, then I think we might just die here. Lucif! It should be enough to cast all of this here. 
I think he's dead, man. I don't think we need Glorious Evolution at all. He's dead. Take your place. Hey, wait, I should just attack with everything, isn't it? Damn it. I should attack with everything. It's kind of wasted, you know. He does do like lead and follow. useless man it's useless F. I suppose there's a use for this toughness now <laughs> I need to open a spot for my citra so let's just do this <laughs> this is the most unexpected card man and I get a free <laughs> free minus one cost from curious shelf so that's not too bad and he's, he has to develop right so we just double ourselves now Uh, not too bad. 8-4 is still kind of weak, but it's still not too bad. I think we should just poke her here. Poke this thing here. Yeah, before this gets too big. There's so much mana, you know. Oh, nice. Good move. I mean, if there's a need, we can just go for one more next turn. I, I'm not even afraid that she can just slice me, you know. It's like, it's like we are just way too chunky already. We're just way too chunky. Yeah, we're, we're just way too chunky for her. I mean, she can swap whatever she wants. I mean, it's fine. She's just making space for me, right? If you think about that. You can't attack me. You can't. There's no way you can do that. <laughs> I still outtrade you. Okay, let's do a... Let's do a eco... Let's do a trade here. I think this will keep us alive, right? I'm okay with this dying. Yeah. I think this is fine. I was hoping to keep two citrus. <laughs> Can't believe one sparring, stu sparring student killed my citra, man. Insane. Oh my god, she didn't even allow me to cast my another Citra. Hmm. Manifest an octopus or one of two spells from a region that costs three or less. Feels like a Glo glorious evolution deck, right? Mine also. What should we roll for? Roll for Ziggs or Victor. This is useful against removing Victor, I guess. The question here is should we use this on the turn 1 or Just try that. Take a look at this deck. Grand minus 1 power and vulnerable. This is much more use. Removing this is much better, right? This is just gonna increase and yeah, it's fine. Oh. Oh. Okay. 
What is that? What is that? Okay. Okay, go with Zix to go for a push here. Then push for some damage. I mean, he has a cat, right? If he summons a cat, the cat really can't do anything here. He, he, he can't block me anyway, right? I mean, if he blocks, then he's gonna be... He's gonna die to Mystic Shot. If he thinks through that part. But but the fact that he has Spell Shoot, yeah. Okay, that's reasonable. That's reasonable. Hmm. That's fine. Why is he stealing anyway? Oh, he's stealing my prank. That's all. Uh, there really isn't much you can do, right? He's gonna make these like super expensive. <laughs> can go with uh, a little traveler here. I'm quite sure he has some very important cards he's gonna drop next turn. I mean, this turn 4 and turn 5 is quite important, right? Oh, nice. Hope I was hoping to hit that. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, their highest cost cards is 5, right? Like, there's a good chance that he was going to bank mana. He can, he can potentially bank mana now. And then he can cast Heimerdinger next turn to start gaining all the free turrets, alright? He should have attacked me, right? Oh, wait, she, he has attacked us really. Okay, in terms of stats wise, our creatures are stronger. I'm just hoping that we get glorious evolution soon. <laughs> and I, I hope that this gives gives me like a elusive keywords right right out of the bat. That would be amazing. Okay. Plus two for this. <laughs> oh, it's our turn, right? Wait. Oh, she's gonna she's gonna level up pretty soon. That's that's pretty scary. Do two to an enemy or do one to two enemies? Mm. Should we even use this to kill this, to pop this and this? But I, I, I don't remember we have Mystic Shot. I think we have Mystic Shot, so maybe it'll make sense to do it. Like, should we do Victor upgrade now? Ah, shit. I feel like this is stopping us, right? Yeah, we have. I think we have two basic shots in our deck, so we can potentially leverage on that. If need be, we can just mini morph, right? It's quite interesting that we have six in the deck, but we don't have any <laughs> landmarks to destroy. Actually, we could just attack with Victor, so we can so we can deal more damage. Like even I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't really it just kind of trades equally, right? It does it doesn't trade equally, but like both doesn't die. But at least we push six more damage. Yeah, I think that was kind of a mistake. I feel she's leveling up. Now is a good time to mini morph her. Yeah. Okay. Yep. You can like level up this round.
And it's gonna summon a 4 5 sub possible, right? That, that's the scary part. I can't believe I've been missing out on Victor for so long. <laughs> missing out on Victor's hex call. This is depressing, man. I, I think we should cast this now, right? Let's just go with a hex call upgrade first and see where this goes. Mm, not too bad. Okay, I think it's time. It's time. Uh. Wait, this was useless, is it? Wait, he gets plus four plus zero, but I minus one, right? Mm, that's odd. Oh no! Oh, it's this. Uh, okay, he has two. Dang, he's gonna hit me for so much. How are we gonna kill him? Hey, oh no, we can use this, right? Maybe you can remove this. Let me move to this. Uh, so at least we can just block here, right? Let's upgrade ourselves. If we can get elusive, that would be great. Okay, this is not too bad. I mean, Scouts is like terrible, but I think it's still fine. As long as we have the life steal, this is pretty good, right? Uh, block here, block here. Lock here, lock here. Yep. Actually, I should just use this block, right? Like, we want to keep this alive. Because if we block here, he could just die to whatever it is. Like, like Mystic Shot kills it. And even if I attack now, right, I can't do much. I need, I need to get a good keywords. That's the situation here. Oh, I can cast this right now. Okay, let's go. That's not bad. Let's go with the cheaper one. Furious Fey Folk. Nice. Then we go with a hex core upgrade. And it's quick attack. That's the best part. And just use this to kind of cut this down, right? I wish I had quick attack here. If I had quick attack, that would be the best. Or regeneration. Quick attack regeneration. Elusive not so much right now. Elusive is like a kind of in the awkward spot. Oh, he's he's freaking lucky, man. Okay, it's time for our our time to roll the dice. Please, please, give me quick attack. Quick attack, please. Ah, oh, shit! This is horrendous. Oh, he's gonna get his pursuit of perfection ready. <laughs> if I get this, do I get like? Okay, I'm also, I'm also quite close. <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. Six more. Six more. And I think it's quite attainable, right? Because we are playing different sets of decks.
I can use this two to kill one of them. I can take 9 damage at most. Oh shit, it's getting harder and harder, man. It's getting harder and harder. Are we able to get our pursuit of perfection faster than he? Uh, so this tree settles one, right? But at least we can heal back up again. That's the thing. Okay. Wait, this is the better choice, right? I can get a T-Rex, but I need to spend all of my mana, that's the problem. I, I, I don't want to. Okay, at least these two can kill one of them. So we use this to kill this. Then we use this to uh How much damage can we take here? I think this is fine, right? This is a reasonable amount of damage, right? But will we die or not? I I think it's fine, I think it's fine. I think it's fine for now. Okay. How much are we away? 16. Uh, let's play Hex Core Upgrade. Give me regeneration. Something good, please. Okay, this is good. <laughs> this is still much better. Let me play this. Wait, if you have played 20 cards with different names. Ah, uh, okay, shit. Uh, go pro sled, right? Okay. Wait, what was the options here? Okay. Oh, we have to kill him now, man. So these are all new cards, right? So we have two more. We need like, we need like four, like two more extra. Are there any good spells that we can get here? Okay, this is good. Oh my god, this is like so OP. Please give me something good, man. Quick attack will be insane. Quick attack will be absolutely insane. He can do his pursuit of perfection right now. That's that's a scary part. Ah, oh, Jesus. But it's okay. We can just always save our mini morph for whatever it is. Ah, oh, this is the worst. The worst. Wait, wait, wait. We can use this to try and cut him down first. <laughs> yeah, so we have 18. <laughs> Do we win here? Oh my god, we won! <laughs> he is one away from his pursuit of perfection. But it's okay, we always have our mini morph. This is such an intense game, man. <sighs> what was this? Talia Akshan. Beach water? Beach water? I think we need to keep 
Aloof Traveler is right. I mean, our hand is a little bit expensive. But I want to click Aloof Travelers to, to just discard Talia. This doesn't help it though. Like, both is the same. Yeah. If if she was 4 attack, right, I would, reducing it to 3 helps a lot because we have 4 health. But, doing, but making her minus 1 doesn't really make much difference here. Yeah. Yeah. The push for damage here. I mean, right now he's pretty weak, right? Yeah. I think now is a good time because he can just aloof. He can just Talia now, right? So let's just take the chance here. Oh, okay. Didn't know that he runs that card. I don't know who still runs Spirit Fire. Pretty odd. Then if need be, we can just use Misty Shock to just shoot down Victorian. Oh, nice. I was very afraid that he would have a challenger. <laughs> Elusive! 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 Ah, shit. The worst. I think this is good, right? Do we have to mystic shot this? I think it's fine. Okay, yup. That was the right choice. I didn't knew about this. I'm not 5 hit enough. I mean, I know of this card, but you know, I'm not an expert player to, to, to constantly be thinking of all the single cards. Like, it's like roller, roller decks or something that just comes up. It doesn't. I think naturally, if you play conservatively, things will be better, I guess. I think this, this, like, this seems like the best one, right? right? Or oh, this seems pretty good as well. I'm spoiled for choice, man. I think this might be better, right? Elusive will be great if we have Glorious Evolution. I realize I've been playing for quite a while, right, with this deck, and I haven't, I haven't even drawn a single Glorious Evolution. This is pretty odd. I feel that like somewhere things might have gone wrong. I need to check whether Glorious Evolution is in the deck or not. Oh dear, that's a lot of combat buffs. Ah, shit! Elusive! Elusive! Okay, this is not too bad. Quick attack and challenger is a good one. Yeah. Elusive is a good one. No, no, no. Quick attack and challenger is a good one. Yeah. Hang on, man. My mind is just thinking of elusives. <laughs> Maybe we should play King Cole Elusive soon. We'll see which one of us is 
Scouts. 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 Okay. Okay. The worst. Ah. Uh, wait, is this a infinite deck? Jesus. Okay. Okay, that's fine. I think we are we are gonna win this if, even with or without like glorious evolution. As long as we can kill him before this pops off. That's a key that's a real, real concern here. Because if he does anything that is like infinite, we are gonna die here. Yeah. Where's my Glorious Evolution, man? I know that we can win without Glorious Evolution, which is a good thing. But having Glorious Evolution would be perfect. I haven't, I haven't been able to play Glorious Evolution at all. Oh, I got so lucky. Challenger. Jeez. Uh, you should level up soon, right? Maybe we should take a peek at his cards to see what he has. Point the way and I'll make the way. Oh, shouldn't he? Shouldn't he has has summon Talia first? That's pretty odd, though. He should summon Talia first, right? Then he could have dealt more damage. I don't know. Am I missing something? Okay. Nice. Ooh. Give me a good one. Scouts. Elusive. Ah, okay. Regeneration is not too bad. Let's take a look. Uh, let's make this. Yeah, he can't cast this, right? Okay, let's go with this. Okay. Uh, I feel that we need to kind of draw something good, right? Oh, this is nice. We should have Leto here. Yep, then if there isn't enough, right, then we can just put more with our Vault Breaker. Oh, uh, let's see. How much do we need here? We need 7 points of damage. 10 divided by 2. That's enough right oh wait that's negative jesus i wasted it ah oh, fuck okay that was kind of dumb of me to do you didn't realize that yeah sometimes legends of runeterra have this weird interaction where it's like you know things can go to negative i think this is good for now I think we should just go for one more, right? Yeah, because this was one, right? Then one minus two is like minus one. Yeah. Good lesson for you guys, you know. If you are new here, you will know that there's a negative, but they don't show it. Yes. Who is that character? Oh my god, it's Leona. It doesn't even look like Leona. Uh. Wait, I think we want Victor, right? Not quite sure about this. But I don't think we need Pookie Stick here because there's not really much of an opportunity, right? Ooh, 
Ooh. Mm. Okay. I think we can go with a low ping telescope. This is a good one. And then we can play Bando City Mayor. Post that is it a battle version? Or can we just rush him down with 10 out of terror? Nah, no, but I think, I think Pro Set would be the better choice. Next turn, we can probably go with like a uh, Victor or something. Oh, we can go with Pro Sled. Pro Sled works here as well. Wait, why is he attacking me? Okay, let's go with Pro Sled. Or we can go with Victor. I think as long as like... Wait, wait is that even a good use of Twin Disciplines? I'm sorry guys, we are, we are kind of a low level rank right now, so... There are a lot of weird choices, that's why. Yeah, but I mean, I haven't really had the time to play this. Oh, it's awesome! We got Illusive on the first time. Let's go with... I need, like, enough mana, right? Okay, let's go with Pro Slayer. Go with a hex call upgrade afterwards. Then we go and attack. We should be able to level up our Victor very quickly. Actually, this deck really synergizes very well together. Okay, so he's going to play the shielded card. Oh, nice. Hopefully, we get a good keyword. Scouts. Uh. It's okay, next time we have 6 mana. If there's a need to, we can just mini morph that. <laughs> this becomes useless. I mean, he can stun me, that's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Uh we can go with Shell Folk. But honestly speaking, I don't think we need so much right now. Let's go with 10 out of terror. And let's go with Zix. So we just push for damage now. You got a Zix loping telescope. Uh, okay, attack here. I think it's okay if our Paul Sled dies. I feel that he would be much more invested to keep this alive, right? But I think it would make sense for him to try and block us here. And if he blocks us, we will just shoot him with the Mystic Shot. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, he must be waiting for Leona or his Leona is coming out very soon. Then we will cast our Victor's Hexcore upgrade. I I'm hoping we can get our Glorious Evolution soon. Okay, now we got our Scouts, so that's perfect. Yeah. Ah, another Victor. That's fine.
Uh, I think right now we just go with another. Oh, he passes. Okay. He can stun us, right? So I think we just upgrade first. He can always just bounce us back as well. Oh, impact one. So he stuns me, that's fine. Let's try and draw some good cards from this. Oh, that seems pretty good. Actually, I should have just cast Curious Shell Folk first, right? Then I cast these cards. Then at least we get two copies of it. I think my, my main concern was that it's going to flood my board way too much. Okay. Yeah. Having an additional question strike might have been a good thing, right? Yeah. Oh well. Ah. Uh. Okay. Okay. I think we'll use our MK1 to shoot this down. Okay. And then we have two Mystic Shot to kill him, right? Yeah. Actually, this, I thought this was going to be a very jank meme deck. It's doing pretty well against like not so great players and not so great decks so I'm just quite curious you know if we have a chance to fight against a good player and a good deck how would that be you know how would that turn out Maybe he has another Nopify or something. <laughs> oh, good game. 